Picture this. You are given a task, an incentive, and the freedom to choose how you approach it. Will a bigger reward make you perform better? What truly drives us when it comes to productivity and creativity? Today, we delve deep into the essence of motivation as we explore the intriguing insights from Drive the Surprising Truth about what motivates us by Daniel H. Pink. Let's embark on this captivating journey. In the fabric of human existence, motivation is that intricate thread weaving through our actions, our desires, and our achievements. But the conventional wisdom on motivation might just be misguided. Let's break this down. Traditionally, our society believes in a carrot and stick approach. Do good, get a reward, do bad, face a consequence. This is what Daniel Pink refers to as motivation number two, rooted deeply in the bedrock of human psychology. But is this really effective in the modern age? Pink suggests that this external reward punishment system can, surprisingly, dampen creativity and reduce the quality of work in tasks that require cognitive skills. When people are promised a financial incentive, they often perform worse on tasks that require conceptual, creative thinking. Is that not a thought to ponder upon? For simpler mechanical tasks, sure, this system might still hold water. But for challenges that require out-of-the-box thinking and innovation, there is a need for a deeper dive into what truly ignites the fire within us. Let's shift gears for a moment. If you're enjoying this enlightening journey so far, it might just be the perfect moment to gently tap that like button. It'll truly make our day. And now, back to our story. Enter motivation number three, Pink's innovative model for the modern age. In this realm, three key elements play the pivotal role, autonomy, mastery, and purpose. This is our desire to be self-directed, to chart our own course. Consider companies like Google, which allows its employees 20% of their time to work on personal projects. This is not charity. It is a brilliant strategy. It was during this autonomous time that projects like Gmail were born. Mastery is the itch you get to become better at something that matters to you. Remember those hours you spent trying to perfect a song on your guitar or master a new recipe? That was not for a monetary reward. It was for personal satisfaction, the thrill of getting better. Purpose is when the task's reason is bigger than oneself, amplifying motivation. Companies aiming only for profits often falter, but those aiming to make a difference, change a piece of the world, they thrive and drive their employees to do the same. So if you are in a leadership position or introspecting about personal growth, think of these elements. Can you grant more autonomy? Are you giving yourself and others the chance to master skills? Is there a purpose, a larger goal to work towards? In wrapping up, Daniel Pink presents us with a refreshing perspective, urging us to rethink how we motivate ourselves and others in a world that is rapidly changing. It's not about bigger rewards, but about tapping into the intrinsic motivators that make us human. And as our voyage through drive comes to an end, we leave you with this. How will you ignite your drive today? What changes will you make in your life or workspace? And most importantly, what topic should we dive into next? Do let us know in the comments. Until then, stay motivated and keep exploring.